Hey everyone, I'm back. I am just going to show you quickly how you get from iMovie to YouTube. Um, it's actually pretty simple. What I ended up doing was um, I, I clicked on this little arrow, which is Apple's magical, like, if you want to move this file somewhere, click here. And there's a lot of options for what to do. You can even airdrop it from one device to another. All I did was save the video, and it saved it to my photos. And I wanted it in my photos instead of my files because YouTube is going to then access my photos to upload it. So um, I've already saved the, the video, uh, so I'm not gonna do that again. It took a good five or six minutes to pro process everything. It does take a little while, the more effects and stuff you have. So to save some time, I've already saved the video. And what I, what I wanna do next is, um, and I will say, I'll add this, I know you can directly upload to YouTube, but I prefer to save it as its own separate file just in case there's like a processing issue. Um, that way I know whether it was the file processing that was an issue or a YouTube upload issue. Um, but if it works for you to just upload directly to YouTube, you are more than welcome to do that. Okay, so now I go to my YouTube app right here. Boop. And um, let's see. There's one of my videos already because I've been playing around here. Uh, what I want is this plus sign right here. And the first time you go through the plus sign to add a video to your account, which by the way, the account is connected to Google. So you just log in through your Google account. If you don't have a Google account, you need to make one. Uh, you click on the plus sign. You're gonna go through a series of permissions. And that, that threw me at first. I actually had to go to Google and search what was going on because I didn't expect it. I expected to see what I see here. But once I figured it out, everything was fine. Um, anyways, to upload a video, it's pretty simple. I'm, I'm gonna actually take the last video that I, I did, which was showing you all the the effects that I put on. I can trim it. Hey everybody, it. it's oh, uh, Dr. Okay, Kopchi here. Gonna, I wanted to here. give you, anyways, um, this is where the magic happens. Once you know you've got the right video, you can add a title. And so I'm gonna call this 6500 TJ video edits. And in parentheses, I'll put effects, transitions, um, what else? Um, let's see, video, cutting, etc. I can add a description if I wanted, I don't. This is the most important thing though. Um, if you don't want it to be public, and I'm gonna set mine public, please make it unlisted and don't make it private because we all need to be able to see what you're doing. So unlisted means that if I've got your link, I can still view it. Whereas private means you have to define who can see it and not see it. But if you're comfortable making it public, which in this class, most of the content is fine public. Um, I would recommend that. And then yes, it's made for kids. You can say no if you want, if you don't want kids watching it. And anyways, it's just gonna upload there. Um, and then once it's done, and I'm gonna go to a different, I'm gonna go to a different uh, video here like this one. Um, once it's done, you can come here, click share and copy the link, and then you can do whatever you need to with that link. All right, so that's how you get to YouTube. Um, uh, once again, my advice is if you don't know, Google it. It's really, e Google, everything's on Google. In fact, you'll get an answer quicker from Google than you will from me or a classmate probably. So um, if it's a technical question, then definitely Google it. Okay, take care.